This is session 6, Export Files from Final Cut Pro 10. In this session, I'll show you how to export a project out of Final Cut Pro 10 using XML, how to export a video file out of Final Cut Pro 10, and how to convert the Final Cut XML file into an XML format that Audition can read. I'll show you how to import audio and video files into Audition and how to export the final audio mix from Audition and import it back into Final Cut Pro 10. Final Cut does not natively support OMF export, but it does support XML export, so we need to convert the XML out of Final Cut into something Audition can read. To do this, we'll use X to 7, a utility from Intelligent Assistance, to do this conversion. Keep in mind that XML does not contain your media files, so you either need to run both Final Cut and Audition on the same computer, or you need to send the hard disk containing your media along with the XML file to the person running Audition. Here's the process. First, we export the project as an XML file. Then, we export the video as a single video clip using File Share. Convert the XML file for Audition using X to 7. Import the XML file into Audition, import the video file into Audition, then do the mix. Export the final mix from Audition as a stereo mix down, and import the final mix into Final Cut Pro 10 and place it into the timeline. It sounds complex, but it really can be done very quickly. So let me show you how to export an XML file from Final Cut Pro 10, how to export a video file from Final Cut Pro 10, how to convert the XML file for Audition, how to import both the XML file and the video file into Audition, and how to export the final audio mix back into Final Cut. Here's the Final Cut Pro 10 project that we want to send over to Audition. First thing that we do is make sure the timeline is selected and go up to File and Export XML. We're going to call this the name of the project, Final Cut Pro 10 Project. We'll store it to the desktop, though you could store it anywhere. We're not really exporting any metadata. I'll leave this at its default setting of General, but you could set it to None if you wish. I'll leave it set to General and click Save. The XML export is almost instantaneous. Now we need to export the video. Go up to File, go to Share, and let's share the master file. What we want to do here is we want to export this also in Apple ProRes Proxy. So click on the video codec and change it from Apple ProRes 4 to 2 down to Apple ProRes Proxy. This estimates how big the file is going to be and click Next. We'll give this a name and again store it to the desktop. You could store it anywhere. I'm going to store it to the desktop to make it easy to find. This is going to take a few seconds, and we can click on the clock here to open up the background tasks window, and it'll show us exactly how long it's going to take to export this video. The video itself runs about a minute, 15 seconds. The export will be real time or slightly faster. The exporting is done. We'll type Command H to hide Final Cut. There is our XML file. There is the movie. And here's the utility that makes all this possible. It's called X to 7 for Final Cut Pro. You'll find it in the Mac App Store. It's made by Intelligent Assistance. Grab the XML file, drag it on top of the icon. It says, what do you want to do? Video tracks, audio tracks. You want to send it to Final Cut 7 or save sequence XML? I generally recommend exporting both, although the audio tracks option is there specifically for Audition because the developers and I were talking about this. But linking is easier. If you have both checked, click OK. It says, what are you going to call it? I'm going to have it end with X to 7, and it processes it really quickly. And there's that file. Now let's switch over to Audition. As with all things, go to File, Import File. Look for the X to 7 XML right here. Click Open. In a few seconds, it's going to link most of your files, and we'll just click this to get everything smaller. But notice there's a couple files that are unlinked. Audition has a problem when XML is used to give the audio portion of a video file. So sometimes we have to explain how that works. If you ever run into a linking problem like this, notice these clips that are unlinked or offline are gray, go up to the clip menu, go down to Link All Media. It says that it's looking for the NASA Mars rover. And there it is, uh, right there. I click on the movie and click Open. It's all linked up. 
we switch our workspace from whatever it is to edit audio to video and we can well there's our one video clip and that's it let's select the video clip and delete it because remember even though XML wants to bring in all the video clips audition only supports one go up to file go down to import files and we'll go to the desktop command D there's our movie click open scroll down to the bottom there's our movie file we'll just drag it anywhere into the middle of the timeline it always gets put up into the video reference track so you never have to worry about creating the track audition will do that for you grab the title bar of the movie drag it all the way to the left so you've got sync and now if we wanted to we could synchronize these clips by grouping them together as we talked about earlier in this chapter and as we play it we can see all the different movie elements that are there let's pretend that this mix is now complete so we're ready to export file export multi-track mix down entire session we're going to give it a name we'll take out the letters x to seven save it to the desktop solely to make it easier to find i would normally store it to my second drive but we'll keep it simple wave is a perfect choice aif is also good but i like wave because Audition is optimized for speed on WAVE. Video should always be 48K, should always be 16-bit. We're creating a stereo file. The rest of the defaults are correct. And we'll let it create a mix down. The mix down is really fast. So let's switch back to Final Cut. Go up to File, Import, Media. We'll go to the desktop and right there. And there's our mix down, the WAVE file import selected leave all the defaults now those of you who were paying really close attention are saying larry that audio is really hot remember we're pretending <laughs> we're pretending we did the mix uh, we didn't actually do the mix so now we're going to add this to our timeline put the playhead where you want the clip to go select the clip type the letter q or click the connected button and notice that it adds the clip all the way at the bottom let's go to here and we'll go up we could do this in a variety of different ways but this is just the easiest let's go up to modify let's edit a roll and we'll give us an audio roll new audio roll we'll call it final mix and click OK select this clip modify apply roll we'll call it final mix and now when we go to rolls i'm going to turn off the dialog and that turns off all the other audio that's here this is assigned dialog these are all called dialog so hit the home key and when we play it we're only playing the final mix <laughs> There are some really exciting things coming on the internet. Perfect. The benefit that roles provide is with a single switch, we can turn entire groups of clips on and off. And that's how we can quickly move files from Final Cut Pro 10 to Audition and bring them back. The process does take a few steps, but it doesn't take a lot of time. You export the audio, export the video, then convert the XML. The key is the X to 7 utility from Intelligent Assistance. Final Cut Pro 10 can easily handle either AIF or WAV files from Audition. WAV files export from Audition much more quickly than AIF, and the quality of both are the same. Thanks for watching.